Hey there, fabulous. Welcome to Your Marketing Mentor, the entrepreneur podcast where passion meets strategy and authenticity fuels growth. I'm your host, Sherry Sutton, your business growth guide, marketing mentor, and biggest cheerleader on this incredible journey of creating a purposeful and profitable business. Whether you're just starting out or looking to elevate your business to new heights, you're in the right place. With nearly 30 years of experience in strategic omni-channel marketing, I'm here to help you uncover your unique voice, build a profitable business, and make a real impact in the world. In each episode, we'll dive into personalized marketing strategies, authentic content creation, and the complex yet rewarding path of entrepreneurship. Expect practical advice, inspiring stories, and expert interviews, all designed to empower you to show up confidently as the face of your brand. So grab your favorite drink, settle in, and let's get ready to create a legacy together, one that not only makes money, but also a difference. You got this, and I'm here to help you every step of the way. All right, let's dive in. Black Friday and Cyber Monday will be here before you know it. So it's time to get prepared. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Your Marketing Mentor, the podcast that is designed for small business owners to figure out how the heck do you do this whole marketing thing without having to spend a ton of money hiring somebody else to do it. So today we're going to talk about Black Friday, why you should have a Black Friday deal, how to create a deal that um, people really want, and also how to promote it. So let's get moving. Okay. So the first thing I want to talk about is why should you even do a Black Friday deal? Here's why. Nine... I looked at these numbers, I was shocked by them. $9.8 billion of sales happened on Black Friday in 2023. That's $9.8 billion and growing, right? We, we I know a lot of us are very concerned about the economy right now, but boy, Black Friday every year keeps getting better and better and better. And these numbers are only for online sales. If you include like in-store shopping, right, those numbers are continuing. Those numbers are going down, but they all combined, it is still going up. And more and more things are moving to online. So gone are the days when Black Friday was just for, you know, shoes or clothes or, you know, you went to the outlet mall or you go to Walmart at 5 a.m. to get a TV. Of course, all of that still happens on Black Friday and, of course, Cyber Monday. But... Now we're seeing a lot of small businesses get in on it too, even things that are business to business or coaches, any business can really create a Black Friday deal and people are used to it. They're used to shopping on that day. They like shopping on that day. So I highly encourage you to get involved in all of the Black Friday craziness. The average spend on that day is $256. So it's a great time for maybe, depending on what you sell on those, those lower end offers, those offers that are in the, you know, under $100, maybe up to like $300, even maybe as high as $500 to do a deal on those. I don't think the Black Friday is really a great place for very expensive items, right? So let's say if you're a coach and you have a long-term kind of uh, membership or something where it's, you know, a $10,000 a year type thing, Black Friday deals aren't really for that. Black Friday deals are much better for kind of the lower options, things that are like $500 or less would be my guidance. So the first thing you need to do is you need to create a really compelling offer. So there's a couple things to think about when creating your offer and deciding what you're going to do on Black Friday. So the first thing is you want to make sure that you really understand who your ideal audience is and what are they struggling with right now, right? What do they need right now? What are What's on their mind? What are they struggling with? And I do many, many other courses about this. I'm not going to spend too much time on it, 
But this is really the most important thing you need to know in your business is what are my clients struggling with right now? And how do I help them get to where they want to be? Because without creating products that solve an immediate need that's going to get people off their wallets and off their couch, you're never going to make any sales. So understanding this is really, really essential. And especially as we move into the holidays, we're finding that a lot of people are not wanting to spend on their businesses. So if you're selling to other businesses, it can be a challenging time because people are starting to say, okay, I need to use my money to buy you know, Christmas presents for my kids or, you know, whatever, whatever, holiday gifts. Um, they've got a lot of other events coming up. So they're starting to move their spending to business to consumer. So if you sell business to business, you're really going to want to be very uh, diligent in thinking about what exactly do they need right now that they're not going to say, eh, I'll wait till next year, right? That they're going to be willing to spend the money on now when they have so many other things to spend money on. The second thing to consider when creating your offer is what kind of offer are you going to do? So there's lots of different things you can do. You could do a discount. So, you know, 20% off, blah, blah, blah. You could do a bundle. Uh, maybe it's something that you've never offered before. So I'm going to offer, you know, pr product A, B, and C all together. I normally sell them separately and I'm going to give you a price if you buy them all together. Uh, the next thing that you could do is an exclusive offer. So you could do something that's like, hey, I I'm only offering this course or this offer right now for Black Friday. And so there's a couple different things. Just think through what you think is going to be best. But one thing that I do want to caution you against is making sure you're not cannibalizing all of the other aspects of your business. It can be very... Um, trying to think of, of the right word. It can be very enticing and very exciting to say, hey, I'm going to offer all my programs for a dollar, right? And we, and we see people do that or all my offers for a dollar. The only thing is you want to be very cautious not to sell your most profitable offer in a way at, at such a low price point because it's going to be very difficult for you to then justify the price later. Because if you're willing to give it away for a dollar now, who... You're, it's going to be very difficult for you to convince someone to buy it for $10,000 later. So when you're creating either these discounts or these bundles, make sure that you're not cannibalizing your pricing that you're, you know, that you're going to need in order to get revenue in the future. So that's why I love this idea of like a bundle or a one-time offer, or use this as something that you can offer like a lo your lower end um, types of things, or one of the other cool things you could do, like in a bundle, is uh, you know buy X and get such and such for free, right? You can offer in an extra freebie, but just be very cautious about that. I think the the opportunity to maybe generate some quick wins can be very exciting for us, especially as we head into the holidays as business owners and we need to be, you know, buying holiday gifts and all of that. But we want to be careful that it, it's not going to come back to bite us in February when someone wants to buy something and they're like, yeah, but you sold it for, you know, $100 late last year and now you're telling me you need $10,000. So you just want to be considering that and what are some ways that you can, yes, drive business, offer something that's compelling, but also not make it real difficult for you to sell later on down the road. Okay, so marketing your offer. So the first thing I want you to do is really craft an irresistible message that's going to get people to want to buy. One of the things that we're finding, uh, and this is I'm recording this in uh, late October of 2024, and one of the things that we're finding right now in the economy is people are really hesitant to spend any money. I think we're about to hit an election. People are a little bit nervous about the economy and about you know kind of where we're going to land politically here in the in the United States, and so they're really struggling to spend money and feel comfortable spending money. So uh, having a compelling message of exactly why they need to get off their wallet and their couch is incredibly important. So you want to make sure that your messaging addresses where are they now, where do they want to be, and how are you going to help them fix it? And I always say, talk about emotions first 
and then the benefits and the features of your product second. Again, this is a topic for a whole other course and lots of other conversation, but that's really the basis of what you want to do in your messaging. You want to talk about where are they now, where do they want to be, and how emotionally are you going to get them there, and then you can tell them how. The second thing when it comes to marketing your offer is you want to create some compelling graphics and you want them to be different than things that you've used before. You want them to see that this is something special, this is something different. You can you can do that in very subtle ways. You can do that by maybe changing a color of a background. You can do that by having one particular photograph that you use with this offer that you don't use anywhere else. I do that with my marketing. Each of my offers has a different photograph that I use for it because I want them to kind of be visually distinguished. For things like this, probably you could also, again, change the background. Maybe if let's say everything you do uses, like I use my green color a lot. Maybe for these, I do the pink color. Just something different that lets them know that it's something um, visually that they need, they, they can say, oh, okay, wait, this is this is different. The third thing you want to do from a marketing perspective is make it easy to buy. So I know it's hard to like update your website and get a sales page put together, but I promise you the easier it's going to, you make it for them to buy, the more sales you're going to get. So you want to make sure you've got a website that's got some e-commerce where they can just easily buy online or easily connect with you. I think often we say like direct message me or let's talk or let's set up a consult. That's not the type of thing you want to do for a Black Friday offer. You want something where they can go to the website and it just is sort of automated. And there's so many incredible tools that will let you do this in a way that's really easy. If you need a hand, give me a holler. I'm happy to do like a one-time session with you and kind of teach you, you know, what I do to do these kind of these offers and real quick wins. And again, there's easy software um, platforms where you can create these types of these types of offers. The fourth thing you want to do from a marketing perspective is you want to put your offer in all the places multiple times. This is something we could talk about all day long, but when it comes to actually promoting something, whether it's your ongoing offers or Black Friday, you have to remember the rule of seven. And the rule of seven says that people need to see your message at least seven times before they're even willing to consider buying from you. Now that seven number is from very old data from like the 70s. So people are now estimating it can be as high as 30 times. So let's say you're posting things on social media. The average number of people who see your social media posts is about 10% of your followers. And let's say now they also need to be seeing your message at least 30 times before they even consider buying. You need to be posting and a ridiculous amount of times in order to get people to actually see what you're doing, right? If you just do that math, and I am not a math person, I just realized I went down the road of math and that I, I, I got myself stuck because I don't know anything about math. But you get the idea, right? If, if only 10% of the people see your message and you need them to see it, seven to 30 times, you're going to have to post about it a lot. This is true with all of your marketing. You are going to be sick of it before anyone else is sick of it. And that's okay. You want to be promoting it in all the possible places you can as many times as possible. So this means depending on what your marketing plan looks like. And if you don't have a marketing plan, please get with me. You need to have a very clear way that you're getting new customers. And it could be social media, it could not. So, you know, maybe it's direct mail. Uh, maybe it's, you know, DMing people. It could be social media, could be calling people. It could be email marketing, putting it on your website, doing some paid ads, doing some, you know, paid Google ads. There's lots of different things that you can do to promote that message, but you want to do it multiple times. And I like to say start a few days, you know, or like the week of Black Friday. And I like to extend not just Black Friday, but through Cyber Monday. If you think about all of the the offers that you get on Black Friday, I, and I'm often I'm often doing things with my family that day. 
I don't have time to buy all the things that I need to buy or that I want to buy on Black Friday. So having this sale extend through the weekend is, I think, incredibly important. You can do it just on Black Friday, but I find that sales are a lot lower for me when I've done offers. I like to extend it through Cyber Monday. And people are used to having the full weekend, even though we call it a Black Friday deal. People get usually that it's going to go through the weekend and through Cyber Monday. So start early, again, one week ahead of time, market it a lot. You're going to have to do a ton of repetition and being sick of your, hearing yourself or watching yourself, you know, post about it and make sure that the offer is extended from Friday all the way through Monday. And then the most important thing, once you've done all of this, make sure that you've also put together your follow-up strategy for upselling these clients. Again, I recommend that you put like your $500 or less offers as the things that you're going to be selling on Black Friday, kind of the lower, the better. And therefore, you're probably going to want to take these customers and move them into buying your higher priced products. But you're going to want to have a very clear strategy for exactly how to do that. So someone comes from Black Friday, they buy your, you know, whatever course for, you know, normally it's $100, you're going to sell it for whatever $40. You want to, before Black Friday, put together what is your follow-up strategy with them and get that as automated as possible. Because what's going to happen, as you guys know, you're going to say, yeah, sure, I'll do it that week. and then you know, somebody gets sick or something happens or, you know, you just get busy. So I would make sure that that follow-up strategy is very well organized in advance and is set up and ready to go and automated. So you've got some follow-up with people and that might just be they're you know, built into your ongoing email marketing, or you're going to connect with them, uh, you know, one-on-one -on, -one on Facebook. It all kind of goes back to your overall marketing strategy. Again, that's why it's important to have an overall marketing strategy because you'll know exactly what you need to be offering them next and where you need to be offering it. But think that through ahead of time before you put together any, any Black Friday deal. I hope that this was really helpful for you as a way to think about what you should do for Black Friday, Cyber Monday. It is, a again, a great time for you to get in front of your audience. It's a great time to engage people who maybe want to work with you, but maybe haven't been able to afford to work with you before. Someone who's been sort of lurking around and thinking about working with you, but was waiting for something that's a little bit more affordable. Black Friday is a great opportunity to do exactly that. So I wish you all of the best in doing that. Please send me your offers. Tell me how it goes. And if you need some help, either with Black Friday or just overall in marketing your business, please give me a holler. That's what I do. I am here. I'm your marketing mentor. I am here to help you figure out the entire strategy for your business or even just to brainstorm with you on one or two things. It could be your Black Friday offer. It could be, you know, hey, can you spend an hour with me on my website? Whatever that might look like. And I do offer a like one single session, 90 minute session where we can just sit and brainstorm on your marketing, maybe work on, again, work on your website, work on an offer, something like that. So if you're not quite ready to do a full strategy and have me teach you all the things or hire an agency, this is a really great way to just get a little bit of feedback. Again, it's a 90 minute session. And um, I invite you to sign up for that. I'm going to put it in the in the notes below. If you're listening to this and if you're watching, there is a QR code on the screen. And I hope to see you in a brainstorming session. If you guys have any questions, please reach out or any topics on future podcasts. I'm here every three weeks right now, maybe a little bit more here in the future, but send me ideas of other things you'd like for me to be talking about. And please be sure to like and subscribe and give me a review and all of that. And you can always find me on my website, which is sherrysutton.com. Have a great day and good luck with your Black Friday offers. And that's a wrap of today's episode of Your Marketing Mentor. I hope you found some valuable insights and feel inspired to take action in your business. 
Remember, you have the power to create a purposeful and profitable business. If you enjoyed today's episode, please take a moment to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Your feedback helps me create content that truly serves you. And don't forget to share this podcast with your friends and fellow entrepreneurs. Let's spread the love and help more mission-driven businesses thrive. Stay connected to me on social media and visit my website for more resources, tips, and support. I'm here to walk alongside you every step of the way. Thanks for listening. And until next time, keep shining and keep growing.